These are the part numbers for the valve seals. The valve seals are not interchangeable. These guys look very close to each other. This is an intake one, and they say that the spring is white. On the exhaust guys, they are black. But again, that's only for OE. And to put these things on, it's real simple. All I use is a 10 millimeter socket, and I actually use a 12 point 10 millimeter socket to put that on there, and I use a little extension. So what I'll do is I'll just actually stick the actual valve seal on top of the valve guide. Try and get it looking straight as you can. And now I'm just gonna put the socket right over the top of it and give it a little bit of shove. And you'll feel it bottom out. So after you do that, you do all of these guys and then you'll put, again, you'll start on the exhaust side, do the exact same thing and lay those things down. And here's a quick look of a valve seal installed. This particular one is the exhaust. You see that the it has a black spring. And there it is on the intake side and that has a quote unquote white spring. So now I've flipped over the head and we're gonna install the actual valves. So before we do that, we wanna make sure we understand again what our orientation is. So this end over here is where cylinder one is this is cylinder one and so I've numbered mine this is the larger one so this is an intake valve and so I'm just gonna dip my finger in there and I'm gonna coat the valve stem especially the end and the reason why we want to get the end is because this is the part that's gonna pop through the valve seal and we don't want to tear that so we'll just give that a little bit of oil and then we're just gonna drop this guy right in here and you can feel it pop through the valve seal right there. And you just repeat that for the intake and then repeat that eight times for the exhaust as well. Here's a quick look at the valves installed. You can see that they're numbered one through eight and everything matches right up. This makes sure that whatever valve came out of whatever seat returns back to that particular area. Now with the head back over again, Establish your orientation. Here is where cylinder one is. Here's where cylinder four is. Now we're gonna put in the small springs. So here's an example of the small springs. You're just gonna set those right over the tops of these guys. And then we're gonna take the big, big springs and put those right over the top as well. Now you do the exact same thing on the exhaust side. Here's a close up of what the springs look like when they get installed. There's the small one, and here's the big one. Now we're gonna place the retainers on top of those spring assemblies. Now there's eight for each one. The flat top, the flat is the top. So just like the valve spring seat, these things also have some sections to hang on the spring as well. So they just kinda sit down on top that looks just like that. And then you'll do the exact same thing on the exhaust Here's a close-up of what the spring looks like. Sometimes you'll see them like that, and so you just plop them over just like that, so that way they're seating nicely on the valve spring seat. And then when you put the retainer on top, the retainer fits right on top of those guys. And of course it's gonna bobble a little bit, but when we compress the spring, we're gonna make sure that that thing sits right in the middle so it's nice and concentric like that, not like that. So that way the valve stem will come up through it, and then we'll put the keepers in right to the center there.